What is up, my loves? Today, we're gonna be doing part two of She Was Hot and Then Went Cold. Stick around. All right, I'm Justina Victoria. I am a psychosexual expert for men and couples. And today we're gonna to be diving into part two of why the woman that you've been dating, even if it's just been a short time, went from being like really hot, she was like very affectionate, reaching out, wanting to see you, you know, wanting to go on dates or whatever. And then all of a sudden her energy is just like disappeared or been like really withdrawn. She's kind of rigid when you do see her. She's not as affectionate. So in this episode, in this, um, in this second part, we're going to be talking about masculine feminine energy dynamics. This is one of my favorite things to talk about um, because it's so simple. Like when you, when you actually understand it, you're just like, oh my gosh. And you can look through this lens, all of the previous relationships you've had, and you can just see things so clearly. So if you're new to masculine and feminine energy dynamics, we are all born with both of these energies, okay? And this is essentially the yin and yang sign. You know, we all have masculine, we all have feminine. You can call it whatever you want. If you don't like calling it masculine, feminine, you can call it, you know, fire and ice. I don't care. But these energies exist, all right, in, in all of us. Masculine is that fire. It's that forward momentum. It's it's movement. It's it's. Um, planning, it's organization, it's control, it's leadership, um, it's protection, it's it's providing for, it's giving, it's the energy of giving. The feminine energy is the opposite. It's play, it's present moment, it's dance, it's flow, it's surrender. So you're always going to see that it's, you know, one side or the other. Masculine is going to be control, feminine energy is going to be surrender. And we need these two very different opposing, essentially, energies to create wholeness. And that's why we come together. That's what creates attraction. That's what creates the energy of attraction. It's what we call sexual polarity, okay? So and you can think of it like uh, positive and negative, like um, like magnets. It's That's really all it is, okay? So with attraction, right, if you have a let's say you have two people in their masculine all right you've got two people who are trying to lead and direct and take control right they're gonna butt heads like crazy so you think about a relationship like a plane that we're trying to get off the ground and just move like very smoothly through the air if you have two people in the masculine you have two pilots essentially and they're gonna be butting heads yeah you'll get the plane off the ground but eventually that plane is gonna crash it's too much competition. There's too much. And I talked about this in my last video. If you saw part one, competition, right, that that always dissolves the attraction in, in any relationship. So we're butting heads and eventually that plane is going to crash because we're fighting over what direction to go. Two people in the feminine. These are the guys who come to me and they say, I don't understand. I've never ever been in a long-term relationship. Every relationship I've ever had has only lasted like three or four months. Like, I just don't understand. They just like fizzle out over and over and over, right? And these are the guys who are in their feminine and they're attracted to the feminine. So what they're doing is they're, they're attracting women in who are integrated into their feminine energy, meaning that they're in a surrendered state. Like I'm here in the present moment. You take the lead. I'm on your train. So let's go. And if he is not in his masculine, right, or he is not integrated into his masculine energy, he's being cut off from his masculine energy, well, that train isn't going anywhere. That plane, right? <laughs> These are two passive roles. Masculine is active. Feminine is passive. So you've got two people in the cockpit, both in a passive role. Plane never leaves the ground. Woman's going to get real bored real quick because the, the energy is just going to fizzle out. It's just going to go like, you know, there's, there's no magnetism there. There's nothing to keep it going. There's no energy feeding off of each other. It's just nothing. Nobody's taking action. So if you are somebody who you've experienced that where, you know, you haven't been able to have a long-term relationship and it's just been like, 
a few months here, a few months there, you're likely in the feminine and attracting uh, women in the feminine. Then there's a third dynamic, which I call the backwards dynamic. And this is where you are uh, overcompensating in the opposing energy. So I want you to think of it like this. You have masculine and feminine energies and you, you, you're meant to use them like 50, 50, right? As an individual, masculine helps you to create goals and work and have a future vision and, you know, be a leader on and on. Whereas with feminine energy, feminine energy is about rejuvenation and, and relaxation and restoring and playing and laughing and dancing and present moment and resting, right? Surrendering. And we need both of those to be healthy. But when we come into relationship, we don't do 50-50. That's not a thing. It's more like an 80-20, right? Um, there's a backwards dynamic that I was talking about where a woman is overcompensating in her masculine energy. Remember, masculine is all about protection and control. So typically, when we become dysregulated as women, because it's our natural tendency, as a heterosexual woman, it's our natural tendency to be in the passive, right? As, as a feminine creature, we're, in, we're supposed to be in that inactive state um, or passive state. When we get triggered or when we feel unsafe, we move into active, right? We move into the masculine. The masculine is protection and direction and leadership and, um, and control. So you notice that a lot of women, they're like on hyperdrive, like constantly controlling, constantly nagging, constantly like thinking about the worst case scenario, like freaking out all the time. And vice versa with men, when men are traumatized, they have a lot of wounding, um, they have a lot of narratives about not being good enough, on and on, they move into the feminine. And again, these are mimicking these states. They're not even like, like you're not truly in a masculine state. You're not truly in a feminine state when you're dysregulated. These are dysregulated states in the nervous system that are like mimicking these energies. It's not really real or true. So men move into a passive state typically when they're, when they're overwhelmed, when they're really stressed. And so they're, they're mimicking more of a feminine state. So if you're a really dysregulated person, um, what can happen, or you have a lot of attachment, trauma, or wounding, um, especially from childhood, then what could happen is you enter into your relationship with backwards energy. So you have a woman who's overcompensating in her masculine, really is just a, what we call sympathetic fight or flight state, which mimics the, the masculine state. And a man who is in his feminine, which technically would be more of a freeze or dorsal state in the nervous system, which mimics a feminine passive state, right? And the problem with this is that these are, um, you're entering into a relationship in a dynamic that is depleting. And that's why after 20, 30, 40, 50 years together, you see these people, it's like the woman wears the pants, the man has no spine, zero opinion. He's just a freaking soulless zombie, a shell of a human being. And the woman is just like angry, hardened, Ugh, nagging. Joseph, you better get in here. Nah, did you do this? Did you freaking mow the lawn? You never mow the lawn. You're a piece of shit, right? And it's just like, you know, those couples, you might even be in a relationship like that. And you're just like, that looks awful. <laughs> So there's many layers to why that occurs, but um, very simply, you can see that the masculine feminine energy is off. Now, that is technically a sustainable relationship depending on how much suffering each person is capable of withholding and withstanding and was taught to hold as a child or in their family dynamic. Suffering, sacrificing, feeling like dysregulated all the time in your relationship could just be what they learned from a very early age. And they're like, this is, this is all I know. This is what's normal though. Not normal. So it's technically a sustainable relationship for those who are really good at holding suffering. But as we know, it's not really um, a healthy state of being. It does not promote well-being, uh, proper immune function on and on. So, 
coming back to this idea that she was hot and then cold, right? Could be that the masculine feminine energy dynamic is off, right? Just noticing your own behavior. Were you, are you in the passive role, right? Are you scheduling things? Are you leading? Are you directing? And vice versa, what role is she in? Is she in a very masculine role and you're butting heads and it's just like not working out, like something's not clicking all of a sudden, there's like the rhythm is off, right? Really just being aware of like, what are you, what energy are you sensing in the relationship and working to correct that, right? So this is, I tread lightly in this because use it to change the thought process because thought process is what influences your behavior. If you try to change the behavior without changing the narrative along with it, you're going to run into a lot of problems and it's likely going to put you more in like a freeze state in the nervous system and cause more dysregulation to occur. You can't sort of fake behavior when the underlying narrative hasn't changed. So with this, you want to like really observe like, What's going on here? Am I taking the passive role? Is she taking the active role? Am I in my masculine or am I in my feminine and vice versa for her? Have I attracted a woman who, and it could be the opposite as well. The woman could be very much in her masculine and she doesn't feel safe moving into her feminine. That's a lot of women. A lot of women were taught that like masculine energy isn't safe men aren't safe. Men are going to cheat on me. I can't give them my heart. So I need to like protect myself all the time. So this is sort of hard masculine shell. So I hope that helps. Uh, if you need a bit more support, um, I offer one-to-one coaching. I do have a wait list. So you can email me at my uh, email, justina at sexualmasterycenter.com. The link is below to my website. I also offer my boys club, which is about a year's worth of knowledge. It's pretty much everything that I have ever taught on uh, masculine energy, uh, seduction, eroticism, and romance. Um, I absolutely love the Boys Club. It's $69 a month. That link is below as well. Um, and I have my erect program, which is the cure for erectile dysfunction. I have 100% success rate in curing erectile dysfunction and sexual anxieties, if you did not know that. Um, and if you are new here, thank you for watching. And if you are already a subscriber, welcome back and I'll see you in the next one.